And a high set from the right side. That one goes through the hands of Young. Gets ready to send it over to the Blazers. Met by JoJo Smith to Avery Mullins. Sets up the Katie. Ooh, nice save. Blazers kind of thought they had a kill right there. Kind of played last the days ago right there. Still have Ava Young in there as well. Katie Kallenberger right there on the heavy swing. Getting off nice herself another kill. Maybe the net violation. Oh, and that's what it'll come down to. I believe it was for seven in black. Kendall McCain as she was she was trying to trying to punch the ball back up to the front row. Made a good deal of contact with the net. We saw the antenna move swing. Her body and her hips are already turned kind of towards her target where she wants to swing, and then her arm just follows suit. And her arm just follows suit. And it's just such such a fluid motion that. Ooh, block goes out of bounds. Given the finish in the game, 25-13, Blazers take the second set. Now I have a 2-0 set lead for the Blazers. Well, comparatively for Auburn Montgomery, they'll stay on the road to take on West Alabama in Livingston, Alabama, and then go on to take on Mississippi College on Saturday, October 26 in Clinton, Mississippi. Been the real driving force behind the Blazers' offensive firepower so far, leading the way in those offensive categories mm. and contributing to a team hitting 212 throughout this match. Poorly timed. It became easy pickings from for Audrey Bennett. Another ace right there for, for Sabrina Austin. They need Auburn Montgomery to win too. Ooh. The line judge is going to say that ball remained inbounds. 18. And there's game set and match for Valdosta State. Mackenzie Murray sealing it with her 10th kill of the match, officially hitting double digits in this one 25 to 18